What's up, Cook? Remember when I helped you out and I didn't have a fire cape? <laughs> Wise old man is right. I don't see no fire cape on you. <laughs> it was uh, it was definitely daunting, harrowing even. You know, you had to be there really to uh, to uh, to appreciate it. Uh, Let me just stop you right there. Everybody has a fire cape, man. It's not that cool. Derek, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta kill my butt? My name's not Derek. Hi, my name's Lyle and I love you very much and I was eating my own McDonald's. It's true, she did eat her own McDonald's. Was that my daughter? Yes. Did I plan on having her for an intro? No, but she wanted to help daddy when I was doing some work and it turned out super adorable. Of course I am biased. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today with one simple goal and that is to magic. I want to magic so hard this episode, man. It's really lacking and super useful. To further this monumental achievement, I have a few goals, mostly quest related with just a skosh of rune crafting. Um, three quests are what I want to hit for sure. Uh, Lunar Diplomacy because it gives you access to a spell book, right? Probably it's useful. I don't know everything on it. I know that it helps plants grow, I think. Uh, Desert Treasure for the other spell book that I don't have yet. Um, and in a surprise twist, Morning's End Part 2. Somehow I have to survive all of these quests. But what nobody saw coming is that I already have the level requirements for it, man. <laughs> Isn't that wild? The only thing I'm missing are a couple of prereq quests for Desert Treasure and um, one for Morning's End Part 2, which... Uh, you guessed it, man. It's Morning's End Part 1. Killed it. If you guys got a quiz, you'd be summa cum laude right now. Um... But anyway, yeah, let's just start with the Lunar Diplomacy quest. Let's let's get right into it. This dude just does not seem like a good guy. Lokar? Yeah, this guy's super rude. I don't appreciate it, man. But I have always fancied myself a diplomat, so. This feels like a lot of walking, and it, <laughs> it feels entirely unnecessary to the story. I say that as I skip through all the dialogue. It's fine. I'll just, I'll hold spacebar. I'll do it. Oh man, can't wait to go into my dreams. Some wild stuff happens in there. Yeah, okay, this is normal. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. This is a nice little shop here. You know, so far this quest has been a lot of running around. Getting uh, the seal of passage was just a, a pointless little jaunt. Lifting a curse from a boat, which is great talking to this lady going up to a walking house and then killing the the natural inhabitants of the island i mean it's great it's great but now i get to run to all the altars because you know they want to remind you that rune crafting's a thing i always wondered if people after guardians of the rift came out the people that had level 99 rune crafting were just like absolutely screw you jagex and then just quit the game <laughs> I remember when I did the fairy tale quest. Oh, what's up, girl? Get out of here with your sandwiches. When I did the fairy tale quest, uh, I chopped down like 10 dramen branches or something like that. And um, so now I'm using three of them. Get three lunar staves. Do you think it's enough? Feels like enough. Also, do they look baller? Oh, I can't wear the clothes of the Moon Clan yet. <laughs> Should have known. Should have known. I have more tasks to complete. I skipped the entirety of myself getting all this fun stuff because no, absolutely nobody wants to see that. But now I'm here and I'm confused. As am I. Both me and me are confused. Wait, don't I fight me here? <laughs> I looked ahead. Yeah, I do fancy a race, man, because I'm nine and that's how we determine who's the better human being. Get set. Freaking go. It's not a problem, man. Watch. I jump over these. I eat these for breakfast. Okay, why is it taking you four years to jump over that? Look, this guy can keep moving. We're slow motion hurtling over this thing. Oh my gosh, we double jumped like this is Super Smash Brothers right now. Or any other game with double jump, you know what I'm saying? Take less time, my guy. You don't gotta be showy about it. We're not showy people. We're a hardcore. We're terrified of everything. What is happening? Is somebody have a string attached to me? Freaking Geppetto up in the air? Did I win? Do I have to wait for this guy? Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Is he saying things that I should know? Wait, 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 wait. It told me to touch three. Well, I don't un fully understand this puzzle because I did three, four. I'm just going to keep clicking what it tells me to. I'm not going to. I really should learn, read and learn about this. It just seems like a lot. I've got 
I got things to do, man. I got lots of quests to get done. I've done, like I said in a previous episode, I've done all these quests before on a different game that is not to be spoken about. And um, I'm not interested in relearning them all. Uh, uh! You know what's funny is this animation is the exact animation when you go to, like, towards the deranged archaeologist. Only when you land there, it does, like, 50 damage to you. This is... I mean, it's just cheating, right? This is the whole thing. Yeah, Rune Light is cheating. And guess what? I don't, ugh, I don't care. This one I don't feel so bad about cheating on. It's just math. It's just math. You've done it! Yeah, I learned a lesson. Send me back! Rune Light has failed me here, and now I have to use the wiki table? What is this, communist Russia? That was super fun and not at all agonizing. And now we get to learn a lesson. Trial and error. Needed three to progress. Love, love that. Love that for me. He's telling me to cut trees. I did that. Cool. Now I get. Now I get to fight me, which I don't. You know, know if that's me or like me. I assume it's like a metaphor for myself. Where are you at, there, bud? Get over here, you nut. Cool, man. I murdered him. Excellent. I have brought peace between the Fremenic and the Moon Clan, I think they're called, right? I'm officially a diplomat. I wonder if I'll get like a Fremenic consulate in the dreamscape. That's the dream. I almost didn't do this, but I spotted it in the wiki. If Why do people in just, they just want to talk to me. Get out of here, Forrester. And I know I could probably get XP from that, so maybe next time I'll do it. Anyway, if you're on the Lunar Spellbook and you go talk to Baba Yaga, you can uh, get the uh, the Lunar, uh, the Arania Teleport. I got to it eventually. Don't judge me. I get to start Morning's End Part 1. Isn't this exciting? We're on to the next quest already. I'm just getting you guys straight into it because we're exciting. We're captivating, and we're teleported immediately to this city, which I hope I can do soon, because I think I'm going to have to walk here at some point. Let's get this started. Oh, look, a tiny crystal seed. Adorable. Four of them. It is a teleport crystal. Ask and you shall receive. I didn't even read ahead on this one. Nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> I attacked this dude. Oh, my God. So close to death, I feel like. It said level one. I look down because I'm watching a video. I'm like, he's level one. Everything's fine. <laughs> I look up. This. <laughs> this. All of this. And I'm sad. And I'm like, I need to leave immediately. So I'm going to look into why that happened. Although I can assume it's this thing that says the mourner throws a vial at you. And see if there's an easier way to combat that <laughs> without almost dying. I'm so lucky to be alive, I feel like. Because level one, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna record it this time. I'm just gonna put on my little dagger. Eh, you're fine, you go ahead, I'll let you live. We'll just do one of these, we'll attack this boy here. And then we'll, uh, okay, so he did it again. Oh, he's level 11, I'm an idiot, but at least I can eat. I didn't have food, I was like, hey, he's level one. I thought it was level one, I'm just stupid, but it's level 11. And then I'll just steal everything in front of this guy. Okay, anyway. Anyway, he's alive. I'm alive. Everybody's alive. I'm actually going to Ferox Enclave <laughs> to heal up and get my stats back. So, that was exciting. Probably not worth the two minutes or whatever that I've recorded about one single mourner, but here we are. <gasps> you can buy die here? Incredible. <laughs> I gathered mine like a true man. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Morning Zen Part 1. Look at all these things. That's all the experience and hit points I could ever want. And now they're talking about the Temple of Light, and that makes me nervous. Because that means that Morning Zen Part 2 is coming up. Obviously, since it is the succeeder. That's a word. We'll go with it. For this quest that I just finished. Yeah, keep talking about it. Of course I want to start. Wait, what's the recommended levels for this? Oh no. If you guys can read this, it says I should have 65 agility for less chances of failing an obstacle. Mm. I don't have that. And I know that that part's a pain. And I'm gonna grin and bear it anyway. Because we just want to get it done, man. We just want to get it done. Don't worry about my outfit. I did a farm run. Are you proud of me? Oh my. 
Look at the bodies. Do you guys think that Ariane and Illunid are like an item? You know, like not one that goes in your inventory. You hear what I'm saying? I ship it. I ship it real hard. Okay, I should probably explain my inventory to you. Got my mourner's gear, my, my my stuff for the quest, everything, obviously. Then I've got some agility potions because I'm a little little weak in that area for this quest. And some prayer potions. I thought about bringing more, but you need a bunch of empty inventory space. And I don't really want to drop my mourner gear. I am going to drop the key, though. Um, now, this may look strange, but I want as much prayer bonus as possible while still being able to wear graceful for the agility stuff. So, holy symbol, went and got one of them bad boys. That gives you a ton. Same thing with the damage book, and Wolfsbane is actually the best thing I have for prayer in this slot, I think. And then obviously Explorer's Ring gives one, but hey, it adds up to 19. That's real good. So I'm hoping we can save a bunch of prayer, and that I can do this in one trip, but I don't know, because I might have to drop this. Eh. I don't know, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna get some food before I do this, actually. Well, it's been more than a couple hours. I'm just so looking forward to this that I decided to wait, you know, and, and keep myself in suspense. All right, let's give this a shot. Wow, I, my whole body just gave up. Oh, that was real quick. And now, oh, <laughs> lovely. There's a hundred of them here. Well, I'm gonna run out of prayer potions real quick. And we made it across. Can I just pass through this and grab these things? Okay, well, we're back here. <laughs> I, I I somehow got through like four puzzles without talking to you guys and I'm so sorry but it what it's not that bad it's just like these I should have prayed before I went here because I'm gonna drop right down hold on watch these reflexes I <laughs> can't touch this so I'm <laughs> out of everything essentially I can't believe I made it to puzzle 5.2 which is 5.5 .5. it's five part two don't worry about it it's none of your business it's a little bit your business you're watching this video um I but I ran out of stuff so I gotta leave I think I could just oh, drop destroy i'm gonna have to because i gotta leave and get more stuff what's the worst that can happen okay so it's the next day because that's how my life works you know i <laughs> i i go to do something i'm like ah oh, crap i have responsibilities because i'm an adult see look at my adult attire and um now i don't remember the last thing i recorded but i know i have to do the fifth puzzle and I could have checked, but guess what? I already didn't do that. Uh, we're gonna go in here with fresh eyes, uh, at least for me, and I don't think it's too difficult, but it does sound like a, a herd of elephants running upstairs. So you come here for quality, right? The best quality uh, around on YouTube, I would say. Let's just do this fifth puzzle, my God. Nice man, I made it to Thorgal. Why am I showing a zero hit splat there? Or how'd you get in here? Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's check out this item list I would have had to do. Archery ticket, that's not too bad. Jail key, that's not bad. Slash book, don't know what that is. And then just a bunch of random crap, I assume would have been awful to do. Yeah, that was fun to look at. Let's just drop that. I'll just do one of these bad boys on that bad boy. I don't need you, Thorgal. I hope we got one of those. And uh, that's it, man. Let's get out of here with my only teleport. Take me to the cabbage patch, boy. That should stop anyone from entering for another thousand years. So you're saying we've got some time. For now, your work is done. Because I think the next one is Song of the Elves, which I can't even come close to doing. But 60,000 agility, that seems nice. By the way, don't think I ever even said why I was doing this quest, but here it is, right here. I want to make death runes, even though I don't have the rune crafting level for it. Because we're going for ancient uh, magics, right? Death runes are a must. So I'm going to be um, doing some Guardians of the Rift actually probably right now. 65? That took me from... Did I have 62 before? That's quite the jump. And now I can do the... I will never be here unless I die. Then I'll go to the Revenants. That'll be fun. Man, sometimes I really wish I wouldn't have picked Hardcore. But yeah, I'm going to go do some Guardians of the Rift not dressed like this. Maybe a little dressed like this. Okay, well, I did some runs. Let's see how many times I can pull from it. 17. Hey, that's, you know, that's not none. I honestly don't know why I did this. I think I thought there was some... <laughs> just like, I did Mornings in Part 2 so I can make Death Runes. But actually, I still can't make Death Runes. So, I I don't know, man. Oh, those? Intricate Pouch. These, the, I just want all of these. And all of these. Oh, I always want Law Runes. Okay, well, I mean, it was fine. Uh, what's in here? <laughs> I didn't even know you could pull that from here. Hold up, I gotta see how much this is. Oh. 
It's only a 1 in 45? Why did I feel like that was so much better than that? Or, um, I thought Dragon Spears were, like, really hard to get. Who cares? It's still just a really cool weapon. Look at that thing. All right, let's go get ready for the other thing that I'm supposed to do. I'm sorry, just look at that thing. It just looks really cool. Am I, am I crazy? I think it looks sweet. Anyway, quest, let's quest it up, bro. It's over, Goblin. I have the high ground. Something I found while gathering 20 limpwort roots for the Temple of Ikov is do your clue scrolls. <laughs> Wonder what I could be missing out on here. Yeah, man, I mean, let's do it. <laughs> well, that certainly was a quest. <laughs> uh, time for the tourist trap. Okay, so I finished the tourist trap, which is just running, by the way. It's the whole thing. Why would you not pick agility, right? And then why would you not pick agility again? Always pick agility. What are you guys doing? Look at that. See, two lots of 4650 in agility. And if my math is correct, that's 9300. I just sat for too long making sure my math was correct. It is correct. God, I'm so smart. Anyway, I think Anna is a child. And I think that I should feel sorry for her because she is a child put into slavery. But for some reason, she rubs me the wrong way and the guards were kind to me. So I think that I'm on the wrong side of history here. And I'm not in such a bad way that I need these bronze darts. Get out of my inventory. By the way, guys, do you see it? Look at my bank value. It's really, it's really getting up there. And so is this. I should probably do something about that. Okay, I assume you're all smarter than me at this game, but in case you're not, you can talk to the wise old man and tell him to get rid of junk for you, and he'll do one of these and say, hey, you don't need these anymore. You've already beaten the quests. So I'm just gonna bop, bop, get rid of those bad boys, and hopefully I don't need to collect them again later because I don't know if ice arrows are used for any other quests. <laughs> I sure hope not. All right, it's time, baby, to start this desert quest. This desert quest, yeah, desert treasure quest, and I forgot water. So hopefully that's not a problem. So I'm just gonna real quick just speed through this, get out of here. Classic Terry Balando character wants you to subscribe. He said it, not me. If you got a problem with it, talk to him. But he says it'll help me out. And look at me. Don't you just wanna help that face? Not the body, because you can't see it? A treasure hidden in the desert. <laughs> I like when they say the names of the quest and the quest. Yo, you guys want a time lapse of some awesome skill? We'll do one. We'll do one of them. Well, that <laughs> that's embarrassing. That's what I meant to do. Is it on? Ooh, I lit the torch. Let's run. Nailed it. It appears that I not did that I did not properly. It's, that's the sentence I was trying to say. Uh, uh, prepare for this fight because apparently I need to wear ice gloves anyway. Even if I'm casting water spells, we're gonna find out. We're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna attack him. The reason I'm not just tanking this is because he can do a magic attack if you are uh, in melee distance. So I'm just I'm just oh boy, can you not though? Ah boy, stop it. Hey, this was a cluster of a battle. We're, we're just never going to talk about this again. Is that okay? Is that it? That's it, right? That's the whole thing. Perfect. Okay, now I have the smoke diamond. We got to get out of here like a super quick because that guy can randomly attack me. And we don't want that. A little stranger boy. We're going to put it right in this tab here. It's my questy tab. And uh, that's one diamond down. It wasn't pretty. We can all admit that it wasn't pretty, but it did happen. So you can take your criticisms and leave them in the comments because I don't really care. Okay, so I got to talk to this dude for the start of the Shadow Diamond portion of it. What is this random collection of crap in here that is also not crap because he has a dragon dagger? But don't worry, guys. He also has a limestone brick and gray boots. So if you're in the vicinity and you need those things specifically... You can get that, and also a newcomer map. Maybe some swamp paste. Why not? Are you hating on somebody? Get some poison, man. Just take them out. Get them out of your life. You don't need that toxicity. Am I right? All right, well, here's hoping. Okay. Well, that's all of that inventory. Let's try this again. All right, round two, baby. <gasps> Oh, 
I got it. It only took like, I don't know, 20 uh, lock picks, you know, just that number exactly. All right, man, let's just get up here and, and do the thing. We just kind of got to get right into it, don't we? Okay, well, let's just run this way. We're going to come over here. We're going to cast... Where is he? Dude, he's like underneath this guy. Okay, well, let's get up here and compose ourselves for a hot second. Yeah, just had to compose my thoughts for a second, because, you, you know. <laughs> you know how I am in combat. I panic. So, um, <laughs> call me Xanic Panic. I don't know why that popped in my head, and I hate it, but there it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, all I have to do is keep my prayer on, and I'll be fine. Because nothing can hit me as long as I snare him and then keep my prayer on. So I need to not be so zoomed out. Um, and I'm just, let's just run out and do it, man. Let's just do it. What's, what's, the, what's the worst that can happen? I'll tell you, I could die. Dude, where is he at? Is, okay, there's an arrow up here, but I didn't see him up here. <sighs> okay, let's just try this again. Where are you? Dude, where is this guy? There he is. My God. Yep, yep. No, I got you. You're true power now. That's fine. Okay, let's try this again. I went and refueled because I, I had to. Attack him from here. See, now we're far enough away to where we don't got to worry about it too much. This guy's easy once you get your wits about you, right? There it is. We're, we're, two for, we're two for four. We got there. It's not pretty, but at least if you're watching me, you know that you can also do it. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't really have anything particularly strategic against this guy i have potions that'll help me out in prayer potions so we're just gonna we're just gonna take this one man let's just let's just use that there see what happens am i right because he can do some damage you just gotta watch your health he'll just do 10 damage every once in a while okay so this doesn't seem to be too awfully bad there we go he was supposed to have it oh boy face my wrath <laughs> give me that blood blood <laughs> There they are, three. Now comes to what I think is going to be the most annoying one. <laughs> the ice diamond. All right, so I got to get this kid, his parents back. I have to kill five trolls first. So as kind of a, uh, a litmus test here, which I don't think is the correct way to say that, I'm going to see how long or how difficult it is to keep my magic above, I think it's 59 in order to... Oh, I should probably equip a spell first. Like, in order to be able to continue using this spell. Because uh, it seems to drain pretty quickly. Additionally, I gotta watch my prayer, because apparently it drains very quickly here. And these ice trolls are a pain, huh? Oh, a magic level 67. That's nice. That'll actually give me another point to consume here. Okay, this might be too much of a pain. I might have to use a different spell. Okay, well, I finished that. Which, holy crap, this is just gonna be the most annoying fight. Um, so I'm going to refresh all my stuff and then go back. I just don't know if this spell is worth it because the stats drain so fast that I'm going to have to be constantly sipping these and that's going to take away from the amount of damage I do. Uh, I might do it anyway because I do have some super restores. Um, I might do it anyway and then if I need to leave, then I'll leave and come back, which will be obnoxious. I just don't, ah, uh, God, this is so annoying. Okay, well, here's my final inventory setup. I decided to use the Chaos version. Is that what it's called, right? Yeah, the Chaos Runes uh, version of this spell, just so that I don't accidentally drop below the limit. It sucks, but it is what it is. I've seen people do it with less. I just watched a YouTube video. <laughs> um, yeah, once I cross this threshold, I kind of just have to keep going, which is not fun. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. My gosh making me do stuff by watching my videos what's wrong with you let's just go let's just do it drink one of these just to get prepared let's get within melee distance and uh let's just kill this homie all right so i gotta watch like three things i gotta watch prayer i've gotta watch uh my stats i've gotta watch my health This isn't too bad, guys. If I can do that, like I said, if I can do this, you can do it. Holy crap, this isn't too bad at all. I think that's it. Okay, so I think we can do that. Okay, we'll just take this stuff just because it's worth... Eh, chocolate cake's not really worth that much. Run energy would be just, just great here. They really wanted to nail into you just how 
freaking cold it is up here. I'm cold just looking at it. That's also because it's cold in my basement right now. I don't have my heater on, so you guys don't hear it. All right, and here we are. I hear this sucks, so we're just gonna keep on a clicking. I'm hoping my high-ish, oh, I really need, I'm just gonna drink this just to kind of bring some stuff up because I want my agility as high as possible in case it is affected, you know? Just in case. I'll say that having higher agility helps out because when I drank that, I barely slipped at all, and then I fell. <laughs> All right, that's the ice broken. Now let's get down to the child. Listen to my space bar. It's so loud and clicky, I hate it. And there it is, all four of them. We're so close, guys, we're so close. Okay, we are arriving at the pyramid here and uh, we gotta start throwing these diamonds in and hope that the boy don't attack us because that would be unfortunate. And do this little baby right here. Then we'll do this little baby over here. Speaking of, I know my inventory might seem strange. Speaking of nothing is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and that's because I don't have like any energy restore. This is my last energy potion. And I found I knew strange fruits recovered energy, which is great. Um, but I didn't know purple sweets did. Um, and I have a few of them. That's about 240 en or run, run energy right there. Um, I, I don't think this is going to work very well. Also, why can't I just climb up the side over here? That seems strange. Anyway, let's get down here and try our best to not die. I also know that traps can come up out of nowhere and just ruin your day. So let's hope that doesn't happen. If I don't make this the first time, I don't really know what I'll do to get through. Probably, actually, I should probably drink that. Oh no. All right, well, Okay, let's try again. Probably what I'll have to do is go to Hosidius and just steal from the stall till I have a bunch of strange fruits. Um, that's probably my best bet. I hope it doesn't come to that, but it might. You know, I really shouldn't have carried my weapons. I knew I didn't have to fight anything, but I don't like having empty hands. Um, <laughs> they're definitely weighing me down a little bit I, although i don't think that my weight is an issue right now i think that it could be less of an issue if i didn't have them you know i have a question oh crap if this is the final level can a trap open up underneath you because he's on this floor dude is on this floor and this is the floor you access from the back of the pyramid. Where do you drop to? Is my question. Guys, we made it. I think that's, I think this is the end of the quest. Let's just talk to this guy and get it over with. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, desert treasure done. That was a freaking journey. <laughs> we saw how bad I am and how resourceful I can be with what I have in my bank. So, um, I, I wanna test these spells out. I almost, almost, forgot to do this oh baby oh it's so good it's so good anyway yes so good staff good staff great staff even i'm actually gonna go test it somewhere that i'm comfortable which would be warped jellies i'm gonna go kill some warped jellies for a hot second to end the episode because i want to see just how much better ancient magic is okay so this is embarrassing but i can't i can't even do ice burst yet so we're gonna be doing some magic training soon. So there it is, guys. I'm gonna go retire to my quarters in shame because I cannot burst anything like I want to. And that's shameful, I find that shameful. And you should too, please. Mock me, I'm ready to be mocked. If you made it this far, <laughs> um, why? Uh, I mean, like and subscribe. Again, I said it twice in this episode. The first time I was uh, not ashamed of it this time i am because i didn't even set out to do what i wanted to do in this um uh, but the thumbnail throws you off because i already made it and i don't feel like remaking it because it takes a minute so, wow talking way too much thanks <laughs> love you